Hello and welcome to the Chilled Investor. This is not financial advice, always do your own research. In today's video, I'll be looking at National Grid. As well as its responsibilities for our grid through England and Wales, they also operate in the US and invest in many large scale energy projects. Making National Grid a good candidate for a strong and stable company. As let's face it, we all need electricity. So let's take a look at the financials. So first, we look at the revenue and see a steady decline year on year until 22, where it jumps to 18 and a half billion. We can see the same trend when we look at the profits with a year on year fall until 22, where it jumps to nearly 2.2 billion. Now we take a look at the non-current assets and apart from 2021, we see a year on year increase. Then we look at the current assets and we see an increase most years only falling in 2020. Now we take a look at the current liabilities and we see aside from 2020, this has increased year on year with a huge jump in 2022 to 24.77 billion, which is a huge number and is 134% of the 2022 revenue, which could mean a drop in profits, assets and equity for 2023, which may also affect the dividend yield. Then we look at the non-current liabilities. And again, this has increased most years to a huge 46 billion. Thankfully, this is offset by the increase in assets, resulting in a steady increase in equity year on year to nearly 24 billion and giving a financial score of 30. Next, we take a look at dividends. Now, National Grid pays twice a year with a dividend cover of 1.2 and a yield of 5.1%. And when we look at a dividend history, we see an increase every year for the past 10 years. This comes together to give a dividend score of 32. Adding to the financial score of 30, it gives a total of 62. This puts National Grid at number 7 in the table. So, what do I think? Well, I think this could be a good long-term investment, but short-term, I'm expecting dividends to be reduced and the share price to fall due to its huge current liabilities. If this happens, it could be a good opportunity for a cheap investment in a strong, stable company. Feel free to let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of the videos, please subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.